came back and took a lead in the uh, second half and then well, credit, well. credit Utah State. I mean, they, 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 they play with a lot of poise. They haven't had a lot of success on the road with this team, and uh, they played with a lot of poise in the second half, and they've been, they've been playing better. They played really well against Idaho last week, and uh, they're on a little bit of an upswing, and we, we just broke down too many times defensively. Um, and then they were running a defense. They were running some triangle and two and some not guarding some of our players, and literally we're, we're getting wide open shots that we, couldn't, we didn't convert any of them, um, and that's where they got the separation. And, um, you know, it's a disappointing game, but it, it, it's – and what, what makes it doubly so is it's sort of a replay of some of our other games. You know, we're fighting hard, we're scrapping, we're doing all of those things correctly. Um, and we're not playing bad basketball, but we're not playing good enough to win basketball. And that's really the story of our season. And, it, and, it, and um, sometimes it's hard when you get in, into that mode, it's hard to shake yourself out of that. Uh, you, you, unfortunately, people are creatures of habit and they repeat – you know, sometimes you repeat mistakes, even though uh, we're doing all we can to make sure that doesn't happen. It, uh, it looked like that, at least uh, offensively, that uh, James Kinney was on uh, a little bit of a roll and possibly. Yeah, James had, had a big night. Could James, have had even a bigger night than what he had. Yeah, they did a good job of just just face guarding him in the second half. They just committed no help off of him and just stayed right on his hip, and and um, that should open up great opportunities for everybody else, and it did, and we just didn't convert him. I mean, that's, that, that's I, I think, I understand where their thinking is. It makes sense. You know, this guy's really hurting us. He's, he's scoring a lot of points. Let's take him out and force somebody else to, to make the baskets, and uh, the, somebody else for our team couldn't do it. Or didn't do it, I should say. Uh, the, uh, when you're talking about the defensive uh, uh, breakdown, was it the case that uh, Well, we lost, we lost Preston Medlin at least four or five times. And he's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. You, you, you simply can't lose him. And we lost him by not concentrating on the play at hand. And that's what I'm describing. Like, we're not playing badly, but there's, there's four, five, six possessions where we, we just break concentration. And that's the best way I can describe it. And we get hurt. And because you've seen most of our games, you know... It's been a repeat. It's a repeat, a repeated sin for us. I mean, we've done that a lot of times, and that's that's really unfortunate. I think. Okay.